It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. What is up guys, my name is Richie and today we have part 2 of the props with secret hidden abilities or mainly just props that are good to use and props that have like uh, things that are unique to them. And as always I will have the prop uh, names or prop galleries you can say uh, on top of the props so you can see where they are located because obviously Fortnite has no like prop name searching system so you can find them in the galleries. And yes I will answer the question where you can find this light from the modern house tutorial because everybody asked me about this light um it is super simple but you can see that in the video as well so uh without further ado let's go into the video all right so starting with our first items we have items that are visible from one side and not visible from the other so what do i mean by that um you can see here this is a <laughs> perfectly fine toilet seat and if i go to the other side um you can actually look through it this also goes for this thing over here um there's a lot more item than these two, but I think these two are one of the more uh, better ones to use, you can say. Also, the toilet seat has different iterations, so there's multiple like pictures inside of them. Um, so you have multiple of them, so if you want to use them as pictures on the wall or whatever, obviously you kind of have to hide the uh, the toilet seat around it. Um, and especially this one also, you can like scale it up quite big, so you can use that for, you know, Quite some cool stuff you can see that is actually quite big uh, in scale um so you could really create something very cool like for co-op maps where one one side should not see the other one or whatever um so you can really create some really cool stuff with this all right so moving on we have the military sea doors um i showed these in my last video and um they are obviously interactable so you can change the speed in there here and uh, you know have like channels whatever but what you can also do is if we take this over here and we rotate it and we stand on the moving platforms right here. You can see these parts here. If we stand now on the moving parts, you can see that the character is actually moving with them. And if we scale this up, for example, quite big, um, you can create a mechanic where you, for example, could move your characters without them having to actually move. Um, so there's a lot of people which recreated the, like the Star Wars scenery, uh, you know, from the starting scene where you have like text and then the player goes through the text, which I think is super amazing to do. It, it obviously takes quite a bit and you have to obviously hide the, the, the things here. Uh, you could also use it for elevators or whatever, um, but I think it's a pretty cool mechanic to know. Moving on to the next one, we have something from the Spooky Prop Gallery which I think is the only item of its type and that is actually that this item gets destroyed as soon as you walk into it. You can see I didn't do anything, I didn't chop it or do whatever, it just exploded and I'm pretty sure it is one of the only items that can do that. Um, obviously there are like devices which explode on proximity or whatever but I think this is actually the only item that can you know kind of get destroyed if you just walk through it. Uh, which is insane and uh, you could obviously create like for example the the um fall guys door dash map with this uh, obviously in a different iteration so it has to be like not as flashy or maybe as spooky you can have like spooky uh door dash whatever um so i think that is one of the best props in the game period like you can create some really cool stuff with this okay moving to the next one we have this other thing over here uh which obviously is used to refill cars but in the Fortilla prop gallery, there's two of them. So if we quickly go into the Fortilla prop uh, gallery here, so let's find Fortilla fast. Um, you can see there are actually two of them. So the bigger one here um, is has basically no effect whatsoever. It's just the prop. Um, but if we look at the um, the smaller one right here, it actually, if we go over here, we don't want to destroy the whole scenario. Um, if we actually start punching it, it actually starts fire and it also has a quite an quite a big explosion you can say so you can obviously use it for quite some cool stuff especially like for cinematic stuff um so that is definitely a prop that is very good to know uh which you should you know take in consideration obviously it is quite a unique prop it looks not not like uh you know something you could put in every map but maybe behind walls or whatever so um, that is obviously something good to know. All right, moving on. We have uh, addition to last video, which are two more props, which are not in the particles gallery, but are used or can be used as particles. And that is the Durburger uh, hologram and the tomato, uh, the, the pizza pit um, 
uh, hologram. So um, these both have channels, so you can turn them on and off via channels. Um, the the burger one is a lot larger than the to tomato one, so um, you kind of have to take care of that. So the, this one can actually scale up quite big. So you can see this is actually insanely large, uh, but the tomato one cannot be uh, you know, made this large. So moving on, we have something more of the uh, good to know category or useful category. Um, so these are items that can be stacked into each other. And um, so you can see here that's, that's, that these are completely different parts and you can go in here and put it on top of whatever. And then you can, for example, use an explosive device to explode the first part here and then just jump out of it or, or same thing with the doors here. So you can see here I prepared this. So let's quickly check this out. So you can see if I then walk close to this, um, only the door explodes and I can walk through the thing, which is amazing. Uh, but obviously there's a lot more than just these two items. Uh, but I thought like these two are one of the more useful ones. So um, this is from the Art Deco Prop Gallery and this is from the Wild Rest Prop Gallery. Okay, so now I have something actually pretty cool and more on the mechanic side of things. Um, so you know that the trick tower can be used to uh, hide and you know appear and reappear walls or whatever. For the most part, you can basically only use it on walls and with that it works perfectly fine. But when it comes to stairs, it does not work for most of them. As you can see, it works for some of them. So if we just take one simple stair, let's just take whatever stair here, uh, this one. So if we place this down, obviously in a grid snap, otherwise the trick tile will not work anyways. Um, we can go here and check, uh, let's take a trick tile and you can see we cannot place it on here. But for whatever reason, uh, everything from the parkour gallery uh, works fine. So you can find the parkour gallery inside of your galleries and then you just scroll down a little bit and you can see here parkour. And then you have these amazing looking um, props or items and basically all of the the ramp ones can be used with a trick tile. Also these like these cornered ones can also be used with a trick tile. There's a lot of other things even in the um, parkour gallery which cannot be used. But you can see even here, which is one that even the, the trick tile does not really fit on, you can still use that. And I also want to say this is probably not a glitch, even though this looks like it is a glitch for some reason. Um, I'm pretty sure that it is supposed to be. It was in the game from the beginning, like as soon as the trick tile was added, uh, you could do it on the parkour tiles. This is nothing that came new or whatever. Uh, so um, yeah, that is something very good to know. Okay, and as promised, I'll show you guys some very requested items which a lot of people ask me for and the one is the uh, disco bolt uh, you can find that in the sweaty sands prop gallery um, then the little light from my modern house tutorial everybody ask about this this is the same light so you can see here if i you can see this is the exact same light that i used for my modern house um, you can find that in the shock prop gallery you go in here go all the way down to top secret and then to the shock prop gallery, scroll down again, and then this is the light you're looking for. And one other thing, uh, which is this super insane, uh, I, don't, I don't know how, how that is actually called, um, but um, it is like this insane light, which you can find in the Neo Tilted Props Gallery. So that is it, hopefully you found something that you didn't know before. Also have fun experimenting with all the new stuff that you just found out. And I will see you guys back in my next video, bye.